students we all know that message is one of the minor discourses that is asked in paper 1 of your annual examinations we try to score more marks in our annual examinations in order to get in order to score more marks let us try to discuss some important things connected with messages or messaging now the very first question what is a message a message is a piece of information shared with another person in written form a message could be a request it could be an, it could be some news it could be an order it could be a suggestion or and it could be some action to be taken before writing message consider the following things a message can be either formal or informal so we not only write messages in the offices we go for messaging even with our friends and family members if you are writing a message to your family members or friends it is considered as informal and in in the case of offices or some business it is considered as formal message the nature of the message can be urgent important or sometimes it may not be urgent or it may be casual but in many cases uh, in the case of offices the nature of the message will be obviously important and uh, urgent here the language or the mood of the message will definitely change based on the relationship between the sender and the receiver here i mean to say that if it is a in, if it is an informal message the mood of the message will be different from that of the message if it is written in formal occasions now based on the availability of time and situation of course the language or the message that is being conveyed will vary let us see some examples of messengers nowadays we are using so many messengers in online we have so many messengers available in olden days of time people used to uh, use pen and paper to write messages to send messages but nowadays we are using only online applications there are so many applications available like whatsapp mobile text mobile messaging app is there the regular text messaging app twitter is there yahoo google messenger is there and so many other social media like youtube sorry facebook these are all the messengers that are available in online usually we use verbal form of communication in our day to day life verbal form of communication means we convey something some piece of information to the person who is sitting opposite to us who is next to us this is what i mean to say the verbal form of communication but sometimes what happens if the person is the person to the person who you would like to convey some message whom you would like to give some message is not reachable and in in some in certain occasions where that particular piece of messaging needs to be documented we often go for a written form of communication that is called as messaging let us see some do's and don'ts 
in connection with messaging to begin with some do's your message should be relevant and brief it should be appropriate to the context you should have to use proper sentence structure grammar and punctuation marks your message should be clear and concise in your message obviously we send messages to convey some important information regarding an event or some occasion or some meeting or something like that so see that your message conveys this piece of information very clearly like what is the time the date and the place of the meeting and so on now let's see some don'ts it has become a fashion that we use short forms but uh, in messaging don't use any short forms and uh, we often see people using emote icons in messaging uh, for this to express their feelings they depend on emote icons but uh, in messaging don't use any emote icons avoid informal language though it is an informal occasion i would strongly suggest to stick to the formal language and avoid some negative words and don't use any any negative words like cannot shall not will not not okay always use reported speech as because in messaging we often tell the information which is said by someone else so it is recommended to use reported speech like uh, any other minor discourse here i would say that you stick to the certain layout okay even it may be a message it has certain layout i i can say that it's it is a miniature form of a letter so whatever the important things are there important aspects are there connected with the letter writing you have to see the see that those aspects are covered even in the messaging like salutation or something subscript like that always proofread the message once you finish rewriting it as i said use salutation date even time also and subscript let us see one sample question that you make across you may come across in your examination as this is uh, one of the discourses that is asked in paper 1 always uh, the questions are asked irrelevant to your textbook so now in this case see one such question you may come across it is one of the model imagine that you are kondiba patil the head man of the village in the reading the storied house Baya ji, a mahar was planning to construct a new house. You went to Baya ji's house to stop his plan, but he was not there. So, you leave a message warning Baya ji to stop his plan of constructing storied house. So you can observe that the question is asked, taking the characters from the textbook itself. so for this question the answer will be like this here you can see the layout which is of course which looks like the miniature of a letter here i have written the date and the time as well because in messaging we often write you write time so date time is there 
salutation is there dear Bayaji. now the body of the message it is very precise it is very clear we are conveying the exact piece of information see how, I, how we have written it I visited your house you were not there I came to know that you are planning to build a new storied house you should know your social status. We have no objection if you build a small house. You may go for a big house only if you want to stay here. Hope you understand. See in this uh, body of the message, as the mood, I mean, the, the main idea in that particular lesson, storied house, is that untouchability so in those days so this particular message is written by Kundiba Patil to Bayaji Bayaji we know that Bayaji uh, is a Maher and uh, he came to his home to village he came to his village native village after uh, his retirement from Mumbai so it was his dream that to build a storied house. But according to the village customs, a mahar is not supposed to build a storied house. So this is what Kondiba Patil would like to warn Bayaji against. So he went there to convey that message but he was not there so in his absence he has written this piece of message and uh, handed it to his family members or affixed it to the or uh, placed it to the door so we can see date time salutation proper body of the message and uh, the subscript here in the subscript, we can see that uh, who is writing this message, Kondiba Party. So this is how we can write message to get good marks and always keep the things that I have that I have told you. Good luck.